Hey everybody, KJ Doyle with you. Hey everybody, KJ Doyle with you here in Dalhart for summer celebration. It's been a great one so far. We got some of the athletes out here with us right now. We got football, cheer, cross country, and the volleyball athletes. It's going to be a great year for Dalhart Athletics. And football season is fast approaching. One of the most exciting times of year in the Texas Panhandle. And guys, help me out. Where's Kyler? Where's Kyler Reed? Kyler Reed right here, the starting quarterback for the Dalhart Golden Wolves. And he's this week's one to watch. I'm just so excited to play the game. I love football. I've loved football for my whole life. Last season was Kyler Reed's first as the starting quarterback for the Dalhart Golden Wolves. Taking on the role of signal caller, perhaps surprisingly, wasn't the path father and head coach Joey Reed envisioned for his youngest son. I've coached his older brothers, and they were all offensive linemen, so I expected him to be a lineman too, and he's had it in his mind since he was young that he was going to be Peyton Manning and uh, be a quarterback. So, you know, our offensive coordinator, Coach Kitchen, said that he was going to be the, the quarterback, so I didn't know how it was going to end up. And he did some great things running and throwing, so I expect him to, to do much better this year. Thrust into the starting role as a sophomore, Reed rushed for nearly 1,000 yards and had 35 combined rushing and passing touchdowns. But he's chasing more as a junior. I just always want to improve. Um, obviously, whenever you make a mistake in a game because it's going to happen, just keep your head up. Um, Short-term memory loss is what I always hear. Just move on to the next play. Just uh, learn and build off of what you just did. As a team, the Wolves were able to secure a playoff berth and claim a by district championship, but are setting expectations even higher this year. We plan to hopefully win a lot more games than we did last season and make it farther in the playoffs. Um, kind of just work together and uh, stay strong as a team. Don't let anything pull us apart, you know what I mean? Because obviously like last year, there's a lot of things thrown at us to where um, it can affect people in different ways, but we all want to be there for each other and all want to just stay by each other's side throughout the season. With Kyler under center and Joey Reed on the sidelines, the Golden Wolves will have a pair of great leaders to rely on to help push them to another successful season. All right, hey Kyler, good luck this year. Good luck to you guys and the football team and all you athletes out here in Dalhart. It's been a great time for athletics here in Dalhart as the Rawl Activity Center just opened up back in January. The Rawl Activity Center opened up and it's been about six months since it's been open. It opened up back in January and being open and the general manager, Danny Holcomb, highlighted how it's helped the community so far. They put it together uh, with the intention of providing something that the community didn't have. Um, so we have soccer, rock climbing, batting cage, we have a golf simulator, we have the gym, and pickleball. We have a little bit of everything for everybody and that was the intention. Um, so we have groups of people that come and they walk and we have people that rent out the field. Um, the school uses it for different things like baseball and soccer. And then of course the kids is the main thing that we provide. Memberships start as low as $15 a month. They're also starting a men's soccer league out there, hoping to start some flag football stuff as well as some other sports at the Rawl Activity Center as well. So plenty going on there. Joining us now, Cade Crosby, one of the players from the football team last season, an all-district selection, now heading to West Texas A&M next year. Cade, obviously very exciting for you. Heading to WT, a prestigious program with great athletics across the board, not just in football, but they've won a number of games, gone on deep playoff runs last year in a lot of sports. What does it mean to you to be going to such a prestigious athletic program and one that's so close to home here in Dalhart? Well, it means a lot being able to play the game I love and so passionate about while also being so close to home. Absolutely. And, I, you know, I'm curious, too, obviously, Dalhart has been a big impact on your life. And of course, this football program, I know, has meant a lot to you. What can you say about how it's prepared you for this situation in West Texas and I'm stepping into what you know is going to be an intense environment? Well, the coaches have really given me many opportunities. And with all the tragedies that have happened, 
it's really made us all closer together and come together as a team. Obviously, Dalhart, we mentioned well, some of the players returning, some of your former teammates behind you right here. What can you say about what you expect from them next year and what you're excited about as far as the football team stepping forward now that you're heading forward to become a Buffalo? Well, I expect a lot from them. Hopefully they win more than last year, but I think it'll be good. Absolutely, Caden. You know, I want to ask you, too, this obviously team full of a lot of young players, a lot of young talent that you kind of experienced firsthand. What does it mean to you to kind of have the opportunity to serve as a role model and someone that a lot of these guys can look up to to want to aspire to be a college player like you've been yourself? Well, when I was little, I remember all the older kids, and I always looked up to them. So it's cool to be one of those people for little, all the little kids. And what would your overall message be to Dalhart athletes, whether they're in football, volleyball, any other sport, that want to go on and play at the college level? What do they need to know about what that's going to take? Work hard, stay focused, and just have fun. All right, Kate, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. One more big round of applause for the Dalhart athletes out here. Thank you guys so much. We're going to be right back with summer celebration to wrap things up here in Dalhart on day one, and we'll have plenty more with the rest of the week ahead. So stick around. We'll be right back.